Before we get started with today's interview, just a quick reminder, click the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and ding the bell so that you don't miss any of the great interviews that we have coming up. Now on to today's interview. Welcome back, everybody. Today, my guest is composer Chiwa Tan, and her piece is Dancing in the Rain from the New Federation Festivals list. Welcome, Chiwa. Hi, Sam. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being here. This is a delightful piece, and the haiku which accompanies it talks about j- birds joyfully splashing in a bird bath. And this piece is this really fun, bouncy piece in 6 8 time. Talk to us a little bit about what inspired you to write this piece. I was thinking of, well, I wanted a 6 8 piece because I feel I'm a strong proponent of hel- helping pianists develop that feel of compound meter which is so different and that we don't, sometimes I feel like we don't distinguish it. We do distinguish it mentally, but to distinguish it physically and therefore um, in our expression of it. So I knew I wanted something in 6-8 and I, and I was trying to think of what feeling I would get. And I thought, I would just love a feeling of just joyful, trying something and not caring what people think. I think of that, what's that movie where they're dancing up the walls in the rain with the umbrella? It's an old movie. Dances to singing in the, in the rain. rain. Thank yeah. you. I've always loved that scene. You know, it's just, but, and I've also just loved um, the rain growing up in Malaysia where you have sh- um, just splatters of showers, short showers, drizzles. You just went out and you did it. I guess it's probably like that in Oregon in the Northwest too. And so I thought, well, how about we go, we explore that feeling. And um, so that's what, what, what brought that about. It has touches in it. It has differentiation of touches too that give you that feeling. So if you if you are exploring the feeling and being curious about what touches you can do, how you can differentiate your touches to get that feeling, um, you would have a lot of fun with this. Excellent. What advice do you have to help students learn to count six, eight time? Because we just don't get exposed to that as much. Yes, I think First of all, I I think to set up the experience somehow when we verbally count it, when we verbally put, I like to, I've moved to calling it verbally conducting or cueing yourself as opposed to counts because counts sounds so mathematical and we do need the counts so we know where we are on the grid for memory and for interpretation and phrasing, shaping. But really for the feel, we really need to have it in two in some sort of way. Whether you say one and uh, two and or uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, then you really have to emphasize the big twos, right? So I would set it up that way. And really, I would do some some just movement to it, like, you know, where I play it or actually that's why I provided recordings. So when you you could listen to recording together with a student and swing to it, skip to it, hop to it and get that feel. Um, and then sing, and if you to put words or numbers, or if you use um, if you use some other way of uh, like orf or uh, or kodai words, you can do that. But you can I do it with numbers, and I would go one and uh, two, and, uh, one and uh, two. So then they kind of just you superimpose, you basically indoctrinate them with the feeling and the sound first. It doesn't really matter what you say then because it's going to come out just right. Is there anything else that you want us to know about Dancing in the Rain? It's about a feeling of freedom. So ultimately, once you learn the patterns, which are usually easy to learn, which, you know, which involves just mapping, choreography, just taking the time to map out a section and the moves and then worry about playing it. The, the message here is dare, dare to dance. Do you dare to just go all out? And if you miss a couple of notes, well, hey, we've got the feeling it's a win. That is great advice. I love that. Thank you, everybody, for being here. My guest today has been composer Chi Hua Tan, and her book is Once Upon a Journey, book one. It is available from pianosafari.com. Make sure you check it out. It is truly lovely. Thank you once again, Chi Hua. Thank you.